So crews are on standby, ready to restore power should we see any widespread outages this morning. Joined now live via Zoom by Ted Cressy from National Grid. Good morning to you, and I know that you folks had plans in place for uh, potential power outages, maybe trees falling on uh, power lines. What is the latest right now as far as power outages in the region? So right now, uh, things are in good condition. Uh, just a few outages here in Rhode Island, uh, about 1,600 in Massachusetts, uh, when I checked before getting on the air. Uh, but obviously things are just ramping up. You know, the winds are just getting going as you guys have been reporting this morning. Uh, the wind is picking up and, um, you know, we're gonna have a lot to get through over the next several hours, but we've got 1,800 field workers, uh, line and forestry and underground workers ready to go across New England. And uh, we've been planning for this for several days, and I think we've got a good plan in place, and we'll see what Mother Nature throws at us. You know, based on, you know, what forecasters have been saying, do you have any anticipation of, uh, you know, the total number of outages that we may see, say, around the noon hour when we're seeing, like, you know, the highest of winds this morning, Ted? Yeah, I mean, it, it's really going to depend on how severe these winds are and what that impact is. I mean, uh, we are preparing for a Type 3 event in that case, we would see about 140,000 customers in Rhode Island impacted for 72 hours. We're hoping we don't get, uh, you know, that, but that's what we planned for. Obviously, we saw a tropical storm like this come through last August and, you know, did a significant amount of damage. So, um, you know, we're preparing for something that could be significant, but we hope Mother Nature won't uh, throw all that at us. But if she does, we'll be prepared. All right, Ted, thanks for the updates. And of course, I'm sure we'll be checking in with you again later today here on 12 News.